Hi everyone, it's Victoria with Candles by Victoria. Happy Friday! Oh my gosh, this has been a crazy week. I know I said that last week, but this week has been crazy. We got all the Super Bowl sale orders out, and then, like a crazy person, I decided to have a scent shot sale. And uh, so we're busy, busy, busy filling those orders this week, along with regular orders and stuff that come in. So it's been a crazy busy week. Everybody's tired. Everybody's feet hurt. And we're ready for a Friday. So yay for Friday. And yay for, what is this, my fifth week in a row? Or is it my fourth? I don't know. But thumbs up. Thumbs up if you're proud of me. Give me a thumbs up. That does that does help the videos or so I've heard. So if you're proud of me, give me a little thumbs up, that little button. Okay, so this morning I wanted to talk about, oh, well, first, first of all, we're going to announce our winner uh, from last week's video, from last week's give it, giveaway. And we were giving away the uh, mustard jar candle in Tiffany D. And uh, so keep watching, and if you are, if your name is announced, just drop me an email. I'll leave my email below, and we'll get this bad boy in the mail to you. So keep watching, and we'll not sit here in a second. So a lot of you wanted to see a lot of different things, and um, I was going to show the Three Ring Circus this week, and then I did a new candle yesterday. And so I thought, well, I'll just show that. I mean, we have so much stuff. I could literally do videos for the next year and still probably not show everything that we do. But anyway, so I'll just show you uh, the new candle that we that I came up with and that we launched yesterday on the website. And it is our, oh my gosh, it is so heavy. So if y'all are big candle lovers, if there's a scent that you really, really love, I get a lot of times I get uh, messages from people and say, what's the biggest candle that you offer? Because I love such and such scent. And uh, right now it's the big Bertha. She's 37 ounces and um, four wicks and she's large and in charge and a beautiful candle. And then we have the baby Bertha. She's just a little bit smaller. And, uh, but now we have the large bread pan candle. Okay, let me get it up here. This is it. As you can see, okay, first let's just talk about how big it is. This is a regular size. If you're going to make a loaf of banana bread in your kitchen, this is a size pan you would probably use. So this is huge. This holds 40 ounces of wax. So it's ginormous. And as you can see, I have this one wicked. There's six wicks in this candle. And, um, but we're going to offer this. <laughs> I keep showing it again. You guys can't even see me. We're going to offer this in uh, wicks and wickless. So for those of you that prefer to melt, then um, we can give this to you as a wickless candle. Uh, option as well and then you can just slice off what you want and melt it in your tart warmer and look how cute would this be sitting on your on your kitchen counter I mean it's just adorable okay and on the top we've got every one you can choose you get to choose the scent for the main portion of the candle and um, then the top is always going to come with our maple butter crunch crumbs and they smell amazing. Oh my gosh, I mean, this smells so good. So pick your, you know, if you're going to get this, choose your scent wisely, something that's going to go well with that. Any of our bakery scents, any of our fruity scents will go great with this. Um, and this is just the top layer. So if you decide to melt it, that's all, you can separate those two layers. And if you decide to burn it, when that burns off, you know, then you'll have your scent that you chose underneath. But just keep that in mind. We also put these super cute pecan wax embeds. These are all scented and they're wax and you can melt them and they smell amazing. And then we're going to get you a few marshmallows on there. I think there's one hiding underneath this little ribbon. And I might even put more on the ones that we send out. This was just something I, was, I did for me yesterday. And We've got a little gold glitter, just a sprinkle of gold, gold glitter on the top because 
everything's better with glitter. So yeah, it comes with our large Candles by Victoria label and we tie it off with this piece of homespun. So as you, when it's sitting on your kitchen counter as a decoration, you know, it looks super, super cute with a little piece of homespun on there. But you can, uh, when you burn this, be sure you take that homespun off, of course. So look at that. It is huge. 40 ounces. It's ginormous. So this is officially the biggest candle that we have on Candles by Victoria. Big Bertha was it. But this large bread pan loaf has taken over that spot. So this is $40. This pan can be used. Just clean it out and use it in your kitchen when all this is done. So you get a free pan as a bonus. And, um, I mean, this is going to last you a long time, guys. This thing is going to burn for 100 years. A lot of people ask me about burn times. I don't really like to give burn times on our website because everybody burns differently. I preach all the time about keeping your wicks trimmed. It's so important. No, not only is it important um, for safety reasons, but you also want to keep your wicks trimmed because your candles will, will burn longer. They will burn cleaner. And... Yeah, so you want to keep those wicks trimmed. For this candle, this is about four inches wide, but we got two wicks. You could probably burn this for about four hours, um, four to five hours maybe. And then if your if your wicks get the bit, the carbon ball on top, blow them out and trim them. If your wicks are smoking, blow them out and trim them. They won't smoke if they're trimmed at the at the right length. So. Yeah, keep your wicks trimmed. Your candles will burn longer. They'll smell better because you won't get that burnt smell from the wick. And it's, you'll just enjoy your candle so much better. It's so, so important to keep those wicks trimmed. That's why Candleman says that at the end of every video. Wicky, wicky, remember, keep your wicks trimmed. Wicky, wicky, wicky wicks. So we preach it, preach it, preach it. It's in our candle care instructions. We send those to you when we ship your orders. It's on our website. We ask you to read those before you check out. It's just super, super important to keep your wicks trimmed, especially when you're dealing with a highly scented candle. You know, this is a whole nother breed. It's not like something that you can get at Walmart. And I'm not saying all Walmart candles are not highly scented, but there's some that don't have any scent and you don't ever have to trim the wick. The higher, scent, higher the fragrance load is, then the more you're going to have to keep your wicks trimmed and just baby them a little bit. But they will bring you so much joy if you do that. So this is on our website and available to order. Like I said, it's $40. It's heavy. This is going to last you forever. And it's super duper cute. So there you go. So that's what we're... That's brand new. I've got some other stuff that I'm... Uh, working on a little candle stand. I think I showed it in our group page. If you're not a member of our group page, I'll link that information below so you can hop over there and talk to all the CBB addicts. They're great. All the ladies over there and the gentlemen are wonderful and really, really helpful. If you're new to Candles by Victoria and you want scent, scent fragrance suggestions, that's, but that's easier to say than scent suggestions. <laughs> but if you want fragrance suggestions, they're, they're over there. They're happy to help. I'm always on the page as much as I can be when we're not super duper busy. Um, I always try to, you know, pop in there and leave my comments and all that stuff too. So the group page is really fun. It's on Facebook and I will leave that link below so you can hop on over there and check it out if you want to. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and a if you want, if you like it. And um, be sure you're subscribed because next week we're going to be giving away two surprise loaves again. I forgot to bring those in here. But there are smaller loaves in the tins and they're just layers of wax that are over pours from different things that we pour. So we gave two of those away week before last and we're going to give two of those away again this week. And our winner from last week's giveaway is drum roll. I'm terrible at the drum roll. I'm going to need a drum roll sound effect. That's what I need to do. Insert right here. <laughs> and um, anyway, our winner of the 24 ounce mustard jar in Tiffany D is Miranda White. Miranda White, congratulations. Just send me an email with your mailing address and we will get this baby in the mail to you. Um, as far as next week's contest goes, giveaway, not contest, it's just a giveaway. We're just giving things away, people. Open to the U.S. only. But just leave me a comment below. Um, 
I guess tell me what you'd like to see again because since I didn't listen this time or whatever you want to share with me I'm happy to listen to all you guys I love reading all those comments and I'm happy to listen to your suggestions and all that so leave your comments below I don't care what you leave me just leave me whatever um, that'll enter you that'll automatically once you leave me a comment and you're subscribed to the channel that'll automatically ent enter you in next week's giveaway and uh, like I said we'll be giving away two surprise loaves U.S. only. We pay for shipping. And there you go. All right. So that's about it. I'm going to get off here. I have a lot of work to do today. It's Friday. I don't want to do it, but it's, you know, it's a work day, so we got to do it. And then Candleman and I are going to um, head to Lowe's and try to pick out a paint color. Oh my God. If any of you feel me on this, picking out a paint color is the most difficult thing in the world. Like, we remodeled our house like five years ago, and I picked out granite, and I picked out flooring, and I picked out this, that, and other, and it was so simple. I just boom, 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 did it. But then when it came to paint color, I, it took me forever to pick it out. And then the color I picked out, I've never liked, not since day one. But we had all this paint, and we had the painter there, and so I just went with it. So now I'm ready to change it. But I'm just having a really hard time figuring out. You know, you got there. It's just a huge decision. It's something that you, it's not like, you know, a picture that you can just change out because you don't like it. It's something you have to live with for a long time, and especially when you put all that work into doing it. Because Kenneman and I are going to be paying it this time by ourselves. I saved that money. So, anyway, I love you all very, very much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next Friday. Mwah! Have a great weekend, everyone.